Hello friends, uh, as I'm sure you know, uh, Devastated Dreams, our next game, has been announced and I'd like to take <coughs> some time to talk more about the game since, uh, well, I, I, I hope that you're all excited about it. I'm certainly excited to be able to talk about it, so we're turning over a new leaf in our development diary saga and after I think like 275 or 6 or something developer diaries for never ending nightmares we're turning the page to uh devastated dreams uh developer diaries um so happy about that it's kind of crazy <coughs> to think that I did 275 or more um on on, on never ending nightmares but I think this whole process has been very good for me, and it's been a little challenging to not be able to talk about <coughs> Devastated Dreams. Uh, I mean, I did talk about it a bit, you know, in the protagonist video, I sort of alluded to the fact that, you know, I was worried about the reception of, of our, our character, um, who's tentatively named Angel, and so if you watch the trailer, which uh, I imagine you should definitely watch the trailer before watching this video, uh, you'll notice in some scenes uh, she's pregnant and in some scenes she is not, and um, <coughs> um, well, we weren't sure how comfortable people would be uh, with the idea of playing a character who is pregnant. Um, and uh, just, you know, it, it's it's such a touchy subject, and, and my, my wife and I were expecting our first child, and and being pregnant is, is really tough. Uh, I, I imagine it's not really tough for everyone. I'm sure some people, you know, just, we, you know, it, it's great. Um, but a lot of people uh, have have difficulties, and there's a lot of changes uh, for your body. Uh, not not my body. I mean, uh, I guess I, I have it easy. But you know, I I care very deeply for my wife and our our child, and and I watch uh, you know as as her body changes and as she has to deal with these things, and and it definitely seems uh, challenging. It seems uh, difficult, and and. Um, you know, I think recognizing that in, in the game space is interesting. And I think, you know, but mostly uh, the game is about capturing uh, sort of our fears and, and uh, you know, the worries of an expectant parent. And, and uh, there are uh, quite, quite a few of those. Um, <coughs> and, and uh, you know, we're, we're not really done. You know, it's, it's like a continuing, uh, you know, process we have another another three months or so to go and and um you know then i've i've heard you know it gets even scarier even more challenging uh once you once you actually have have that child uh and and then you know you have to worry about them constantly because i mean to some extent right you your baby is pretty safe uh in, inside your wife uh you know there's there's nothing he can't get free he can't get out um uh <laughs> But, uh, you know, then when he's a baby and crawling around and sticking his hands in electrical sockets or, uh, you know, all the, the, the things you need to baby-proof, I think, uh, you know, I had, as a child, unscrewed a light bulb and was about to stick my, my finger in, uh, I think I also took a bite out of a chair leg, um, <clears throat> which my mom saved, but they, she had the chair refurnished or something, and then they repaired the chair leg, and she was very sad. Um, but, uh, um, you know, I, I, you hear all sorts of stories like that, and, and they're scary, and I, I haven't had to deal with that yet, but, uh, certainly I think, um, you know, if, if all goes well, uh, for the pregnancy, um, I, I will be facing those issues soon. Uh, but anyway, I didn't, I didn't want to talk, uh, specifically about, you know, my experience of, of, uh, you know, being, you know, being an expectant father, um, but more about the game, but, you know, obviously the game is, is sort of linked, and, and, um, you know, something to consider is that, that we actually started working on the game before, um, my wife and I were pregnant, um, uh, we, we were trying, but, um, you know, uh, nine months minus our due date is, like, December, um, 
and and you know the game had already sort of been put into motion um and and you know i think th this game is is uh, kind of like never ending nightmares uh, I mean, there there was a lot of things about fatherhood, about caring for someone else. Uh, that that whole idea is something that's weighed heavily on on me as a person, uh, as as a person who wants to be a father. And so, uh, as you know, we started trying as as these uh, things uh, started, uh, you know, as 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 we, you know, were further along in, in the, the process of, of trying to uh, make an, a new life, um, you know, they started weighing heavily uh, on, on me, and, and that was uh, part of, you know, the idea of, of, of creating the game. But then uh, when we actually got pregnant, it, it, uh, it was much scarier and much more difficult than I had anticipated. And the game new, gained a lot of new meaning um, because uh, par part of the 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 idea behind the game um, was just exploring the the uh, Filipino culture and the the folklore and the mythology, which is really interesting to me. And it just happened that um, the the uh, Aswang, or the, the Filipino um, monsters, uh, it's, uh, it roughly translated, it's, it's sort of like ghoul, you know, just, um, but, I mean, it, it, because it's a folklore thing, it means different things to different people, which has kind of been an interesting uh, challenge for the game, is that there's no place where we can find, you know, what officially this type of Aswang is like, or... Um, you know what something means and and so uh but also that's kind of cool from the perspective of, of you know an artist uh, in that you know we get to define uh we we get some creative freedom to to explore uh these things without you know being inauthentic and and i mean you know uh authenticity is important to us but I mean, fundamentally, we want to create the game that we want to make and, and have the messages we want to have. Um, but, you know, I think it's it's difficult for us to not be authentic because there's no, um, you know, actual, uh, you know, commonly agreed on definitions for a lot of these things. Um, so, <clears throat> anyway... Um, so the the game takes place. I mean, you've seen the trailer, hopefully, and and uh, so it takes place in the Philippines. And Angel's a young woman uh, who, in some of these nightmares, is is uh, expecting a child. And it, it's it's technically like a spiritual successor to uh, to Never Ending Nightmares. I think we learned a lot on the game, and we can create a much stronger game. Um, you know, this time around, um, but there's some things we did well uh, that we want to keep doing, and there's some things that maybe we didn't do as well that we want to change, and so uh, that's really the advantage of, of, you know, sticking in the same genre, and, and it's, I would say, uh, you know, with Never Ending Nightmares, we tried to be revolutionary, and with, um, <clears throat> With Devastated Dreams, I feel like we're trying to be evolutionary. We did some things right. We want to keep doing them. Um, you know, and, and I think, so people who like uh, Never Any Nightmares will like uh, Devastated Dreams even more. You know, fingers crossed. That's that's my plan. Uh, people who maybe didn't care for uh, Never Any Nightmares will hopefully still uh, enjoy um, or um, Devastated Dreams. So... Uh, it's nice to have something to to work from, and and uh, you know th there were so many things I tried to innovate on with Never Ending Nightmares. You know, some successfully, some maybe unsuccessfully, or I mean, you could say, I mean, I don't know. The level of success is is obviously um, open to interpretation, but I mean, certainly there's a lot of people that that really dug Never Ending Nightmares. Um, there's certainly, you know, a lot of people who maybe didn't care for it. I don't know. Um, but, I mean, it's not like we, we created, you know, the next great indie hit. And I, I don't think we're aiming to create the next great uh, indie hit. I think we're, we're aiming to create something 
that that builds on our community. Uh, so we're definitely targeting our community first um, for uh, Devastated Dreams, um, you know, uh, but we, we didn't want to do like a straight up sequel because uh, like Never Ending Nightmares, there's not much more I want to say uh, in, in the frame of that, you know, and, and uh, we wanted to, you know, try some new things, uh, like the art style. Uh, it's still uh, black and white. Uh, well, technically, it's grayscale. Uh, we were very strict about being black and white on Never Ending Nightmares, which was very challenging. And so now we're doing this black and white, uh, uh, sorry, it's grayscale, watercolor, uh, ink wash sort of art style. And that's also been challenging to do uh, well, but it does uh, give the artists uh, we can we can do some interesting things with with the grayscale and and we can you know we have more control than just uh, lines, um, which which can be limiting. I mean, I'm amazed. You know, Edward Gorey was able to do that his entire career and do such phenomenal work. Um, um, but, you know, it's, it's also neat to, tr to try and, uh, you know, um, sort of blaze a trail and create uh, something sort of wholly new. I, I, I don't think you can say, oh, you know, your game looks like the artwork of blah, which, you know, I mean, I thought was high praise uh, being compared to Edward Gorey. Uh, I mean, I would say, and, and certainly the artist would say, you know, very vehemently that we sort of took it in our own direction. Um, but, I mean, still it was very plainly inspired by Edward Gorey. Um, and, you know, some people thought, oh, you know, that's, you should, you should, um, you know, find your own style or do a blend. And so that's what we've been doing um, with, with Devastated Dreams. And, and uh, I'm really happy with, with how the, the game looks. It was a lot of work to get there. I think it was, pro well, I, I know for a fact it's, it's been much more challenging than um, you know, with Devastated Dreams, sorry, with Never Ending Nightmares, we had the Edward Gorey, you know, Amphigory books, and we had a lot of art, and we say, oh, you know, how does this look compared to this? Can we make it look more like this? What defines this art? Whereas, you know, we've sort of had to experiment and, and try things on our own, um, which, which has been challenging, um, and, uh, but I think it's been rewarding. I'm really happy with the, the, the look of the game, um, Hopefully you guys like it as well. Uh, I mean, um, it's it's definitely something that that was it was hard to get to where we are, and and uh, we're we're happy with how it turned out. Um, so I don't know. Uh, it, I thought I would have more uh, structure to this sort of overview of of um, devastated dreams, but I guess, uh, I mean, I'll continue doing developer diaries uh, about it and talking about different aspects of the game, although to, to some extent I want to um, <clears throat> keep some cards uh, close to my chest um, for uh, for Kickstarter updates. I think, uh, you know, having needy uh, updates during the Kickstarter will be uh, helpful to, to generate excitement about the, the project, so I don't want to uh, use up all the good stuff, um, uh, early on, so, um, yeah, I mean, expect a, a drizzle, uh, uh, of information, just a slow, uh, dripping, and then, uh, you know, I will, will be much more open, I guess, uh, to talk about the game, uh, once we're running our Kickstarter. So, anyway, I hope you're excited about the game. If you have any questions, I may or may not answer them, you know, depending on, how uh, spoilery they are and, and what I want to do for the, the Kickstarter, but um, ask away, and, and maybe I'll do another developer diary, hopefully with uh, a little more structure, a little less rambling. Anyway, thanks for watching.